Well, hey friends, I'm here in my daughter Aubrey's room because we are doing another month of the Two Bills to Blow collab. And this month we are doing bedrooms. So I've shared with you the tour of my toddler's bedroom. He's two. That room is like 99% done. I say 99 because I feel like there's always something else that could be done. Our bedroom is pretty much at a point where there is very few things that we would kind of add. Maybe just a few picture frames and really small items. But here in my daughter's room, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. <laughs> And I'm going to be honest, this room is really tough for me. Um, as part of our home story, we renovated our home for four and a half years and that meant that we lived with my in-laws for that whole time. And that also meant that I brought both my daughter and my son home to my mother-in-law's house rather than our home. So I never got to do a nursery for either of my kids. And my daughter is my firstborn and I was so excited to build her a nursery. It was my heartbeat. I was so excited about it. I dreamed about that sort of thing since I was a kid. Well, you know, like a teenager, like young adult kind of thing. Probably not really a kid. But it was super duper important to me and I never got to do it. So this bedroom is the first time that I've really got to put together a space for her. And it's sort of coming together. There's elements that I love, love, love about the room. But I kind of just, I want it to be perfect. And that perfectionism is stopping me from getting her room done. And done is better than perfect, and I'm trying to remind myself of that. So I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of her room. It's not gonna be a full thing because I wanna wait till it's kind of all together, but you'll get to see the room, kind of what we have done so far, and then I'm gonna share with you what I would do if I had two bills to blow in this room. Okay, so here we are standing in the entranceway of my daughter's room. I'll just kind of pan around really quick show you her space. Obviously this is her bed. Um, I did a video about those puffs that are above her bed. Um, that unicorn, that is a Target piece um, from the Pillow Fort line and that is just brand new to her space. Um, I want to add a few more pictures in this room. So underneath the canvas that is on the wall, I'd like to add something underneath of that. I just am finding that canvas is a little too small for the space. In person it doesn't look that sparse, however, when a tip for you is if you are decorating and you're finding that a space just isn't looking right, take a picture of it and you will be able to see it through whole new eyes. And then that can kind of give you an idea of what um, maybe you need still in the space. So I am seeing a lot of blank in this area and so um, we want to add lots more picture frames and artwork. So this is her bed. It was a secondhand piece that I chalk painted and I do have a video about that as well. And this is a little Ikea um, nightstand table. And then over here again is kind of a blank wall in her closet. And then down here is her vanity. She's got lots of little things displayed on there and this wall again is blank. Now I struggle because there is that light switch right there and you know, I don't know, it just, it's a big empty wall, but that light switch just really throws me off. So that is a peek at this half of the room. Now I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna blow my $200. Okay, so this is the area where my daughter keeps all of her toys. I did a video about how we organize this system and I will leave that in a card up above. This big blank wall, this is what I want to do in the space. I wanna fix this area. I'll insert a picture, if I can find one, of what I'm looking at. But what I would like to do is add two shelves, two floating um, shelves from Ikea. They are from the LAC brand. And the LAC brand would go really well with this system, the toy system. Um, this system is called the Trofast system, but IKEA generally, um, a lot of their pieces and colors, like the whites, all kind of go together. So my hope is to do two shelves, two floating shelves right above here. I'm thinking that I want to kind of um, stagger them, so I don't want them exactly right on top of one another, but kind of offset, that's what I mean. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, and then I want to add a bunch of picture frames um, filled with great quotes, probably some um, family photos, maybe a picture of my daughter and my son together, they're kind of little best friends, and just lots of really encouraging words on her wall because this is the wall that she sees when she wakes up. Um, it is a big blank space and there is lots of room to be really creative with those pictures and the things that we put in it. So that is what I would spend my $200 on in this space. And yes, I would really spend $200 on artwork and frames and shelves just to make a space for my kiddo that speaks to her, that speaks life over her, and is a beautiful thing for her to look at. Make sure you check down below in the description box to go view all of the other ladies in this collab. Y'all, there are some fantastic women that are a part of this collab, and it's really fun to kind of be looky-loos and look into other people's spaces and homes. At least I think so. <laughs> so go check them out. Check out the videos that I've done before. Everything will be in the description box. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. I would love to have you here. Hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.